You've told me in great length the details of the accident that day. Ooh, accident? What happened? Who did we kill? You regret the way it affected your life, but you should cut yourself some slack. It's hard. It is. You lived through an event no one should have, so we definitely killed someone. And let me stress that. It was not your fault. There was no way you could have predicted this. Come on, I want to hear you say it. I couldn't have predicted this? Good. I hope you'll end up believing it in your heart. It's okay to take your time. I'll do my best. You know, that's the kind of lie you tell at therapy. It's like, oh, I'll, I'll try, totally. Half of therapy is just lying so that the, they don't realize how fucked up you are. You're making great progress tackling your trauma related to the frog incident. <gasps> you bastard, you killed a French person? Yes, I hope so! Again, what, what, just pick whatever is the most convincing lie in that moment. Wow, time flies when we talk. What a long day. Something on your mind, Doctor? Me? That's nice of you to ask. No one ever asks the shrink how they are. To be honest, that day did not start off great at all. Before it worked, I stopped by the coffee shop. And I ordered the new thing. What? What's it called again? Coffee? Yes, it's a kind of coffee, but it's a unique recipe. I don't know, bro. How am I supposed to know? I think it left it. I think I left it lying around. I think left it lying around. Where is it? Mm, if my therapist talked like this, I'd be worried. Oh, sweet. I can actually like interact and drag stuff. Can I drag the super cozy chair in? That's right, their latest creation! The super sparkly, shaky, coughing extra drink with tapioca. Extra large. Decaf, of course. I don't think you can call it the shaky if it's decaf. You've taken all the shakes out of your shaky. It was not my first time tasting it. I kept coming back to its sour, yet bitter, yet salty, yet sweet flavors that ruined my taste buds for the whole day. I mean, that sounds like something that would ruin your taste buds. That sounds horrible. But today was different. When the barista held me the cup, they said, enjoy your drink. And then I said, the most embarrassing thing ever. I said, you two. Yep, I figured it out. Uh, you want some, do you want some tissues? Thanks, I'm good, I don't need a tissue. How did that make you feel? Oh god, I'm cringing on my seat right now. I'll never recover from this. I think we should switch seats. You should lie down in the comfy thing and I'll sit in that chair while we discuss this. I thought about buying a fake passport and changing countries, but then who would walk my dog? I mean, if you want to fake your death, you don't even need to change countries, like depending on where you are. Just move to a different city, different name. Something about money, something about a plant. I shouldn't be telling you this. I'm not even good enough for what I do. Some days I feel like I'm just navigating in the fog and pretending to know what to tell people. Ah, this is going out of proportion, but... Uh, aren't, aren't we all? Again, just what's the most convincing lie that's gonna make you not seem crazy? I wanna say this is going out of proportion, but like, oh, aren't we all doing that? People around me just seem so confident sometimes. Uh, you're, you have a degree. Yeah, that's true. I did earn my diploma fair and square. Definitely. I didn't cheat and that's how I earned my diploma. Is, are we here doing therapy like in your little office? Like this is like your desk and like this is just where you live and we're doing therapy in here? Okay. People in the field recognize me as being capable of doing this. I guess I would be underestimating them if I didn't trust their judgment. But there are other external pressures I must endure. It's complicated. Is it the money thing? Making ends meet, you know what I mean? Yeah. The bills keep piling up. There's no end to this. Yes, that's... That is life. The bills end when we die, and even then, not necessarily. At the end of the day, what am I even doing this for? Uh, you... I, I want, like, a picture of herself. You're doing this for your plant? Uh, is this a photo of you? 
My family, yes. All my worries are lifted from my shoulders when I come home. I'll ask, so this is not your home, okay? I'll ask about their day, even though patient confidentiality prevents me from telling about mine. It's often a heavy burden to bear. Do you still tell them stuff, though? Like, hmm. How many therapists do you think go home and just, like, immediately share everything with, like, their husband or whatever? Like, yeah, you're not supposed to, but also... That has to happen a lot. Like, I'm convinced that happens more than people think. But, you know, just thinking about them right now makes me feel a bit better. I guess I'm stuck in a routine. I wonder what could stimulate me again. Music, perhaps? I'm so rusty. I haven't played that in ages. So why is that in your office? You think now is a good time of getting back into it? Am I even capable of learning again? Uh, um, you, can I just say guitar again? Uh, yeah, it just takes time. Reorganize my time to accommodate my new hobby. Mm -hmm. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, that's mm -hmm. roughly what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. Close enough. Block some me time until ooh, I'm having out of body and spirit stuck. I'm in the sky. Oh god, I think I drank. I had one of the shakers too, and I'm freaking out. I started off my day on the wrong foot, but isn't it a beautiful day outside? The sun is shining, and I'm pulling the sun around because I'm I'm, I'm freaking out, dude. I have had too much caffeine. I had one of those shakers before I came in here, and I didn't get it in decaf. That barista may have already... Oh, boss, it's getting worse. Oh, I'm in space now. Oh, it's bad up here. Oh, oh, boss, help. I tend to spiral over tiny stuff, but do they really matter? I mean, on like a global scale, on like a universal timeline, humanity itself probably won't matter. Like, we're just going to be a little blip. Our only hope is if we suck all of the resources out of Earth, and then fire it into space so they can never forget about us because we fucking stole everything from it. And we'll try and forget, but we'll always be there. We're like, oh yeah, you used to have iron, remember, before we took it. I think I lost sight of the big picture. My immediate worries are all I can think about right now. You can do this! Yeah, I'm feeling less claustrophobic. That stuff won't matter tomorrow. I'm also feeling less claustrophobic. I mean, I have... Uh, different phobias going on as they float through space above Earth, but, you know, I'm not claustrophobic. Thanks for lifting me up. Thanks for sharing. See you next week. S see you, um, that will be... How much does a therapist cost? That'll be $10,000 for the session, please, thank you. Money, please.